this will show her not to mess with us again. Or you're gonna get two cakes to the face, Chris. My perfume throughout the day. I got my hair, this is how I do it. One, two, three, four. Kylie Jenner is in trouble again, but this time, the person she ticked off is not holding back as she took to social media to reveal all the piping hot tea about their interaction. For days now, the founder of Kylie's Cosmetics and her team have been on damage control as they try to stop the series of posts that threaten to reveal the popular businesswoman's true nature to her fans. If you're wondering what specifically led to this whole mess for Kylie, it all started because of a cake. Yes, a cake. And this simple cake has led to the reality star getting dubbed as cheap on the internet. It is crazy that just a few days after Kim went under fire for her desperate attempt to sell a dirty Birkin handbag to fans for $70,000, news about Kylie Jenner being cheap began flying around the internet because some evidence came to light about the reality TV star refusing to pay a small business owner for her service. So what exactly caused this heated feud where Kylie was dubbed King Thrifty? And what do people really think about her as a businesswoman? Well, keep watching as we divulge all of the insider details. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you're in the loop when future videos drop. All right, it seems the Carr Jenner family can't shake off drama and it's understandable that people are not letting them get away with their shenanigans. I mean, the Kardashian Jenners are a billionaire family and Kylie still holds the title of the world's youngest self-made billionaire. Yet a month barely passes by without news of one of the sisters' sketchy finances popping up. For instance, shortly after achieving worldwide fame, Kim Kardashian established a lucrative side hustle where she and her family would sell used clothes to fans directly from their closet. They cut out the middleman completely and created the Kardashian Closet shopping website. On the site, each Car Jenner has her own page where fans can purchase used luxury designer outfits from their favorite reality TV stars. The available sections on the site even extend to the kids and the men in the family. Now, if you were browsing the shopping site and go to the kids and men's section, you'll see some clothes going for less than 100 bucks. But moving on to the sisters page, almost all items on display are high-end. Of course, it is crazy that a billionaire family would choose to resell their expensive outfits. But I guess if your brand revolves around keeping up with the latest fashion trends, you'd need to find a way to regain some of the money spent buying those ridiculously overpriced outfits. While this qualifies as an argument for why Kim is putting up expensive bags for sale online, it doesn't answer the question why Kylie put herself in a situation to be dragged online for refusing to pay for a cake. You see, about a week ago, Kylie posted her February dump on Instagram, the usual thirst trap. But in the final slide of the post, she dropped a hint that got fans buzzing. There was this sneak peek of what looked like the design for her upcoming fragrance bottle. Next to the design was a notepad with March 7 scribbled on it. And did I mention Kylie was casually holding what seemed to be a perfume tester in her hand? It was clearly a not so subtle hint that she was about to launch her new perfume line. But where does the infamous cake fit into this? If you're an avid Instagram fan, you must have come across Yip Studio, a channel known for the unique cake designs created by New York City cake artist Amy Yip. Now, some weeks ago, Kylie's team contacted Amy via email, requesting to get a cake done, presumably for the launch of the reality TV star's new product. And as you can expect, the artist was ecstatic about baking a cake for a celebrity customer. Amy even went as far as to clear up her schedule so that she could book a flight from New York to Los Angeles, all out of her own pocket. She also went through a rigorous brainstorming session for the cake design, prepared a presentation with different types of cakes she makes and told them the price. Unfortunately, after Amy did all the work, she got this reply from the team. Hi Amy, we actually just heard back today and they won't have the budget to accommodate. As you can expect, Amy was disappointed, so she took to Instagram to share her story. She did not hold back any information as she laid all of the receipts on the table, starting with the rejection mail. However, when Kylie's team saw her Instagram stories, they quickly sprang into action and tried to get the cake artist to take down the posts. But the artist couldn't care less and she doubled down, telling the world about Kylie's team's demands and why she was so peeved about the rejection. Had they said something like, we're not doing any desserts anymore, then I would be okay. But the price? She continued on. They can only afford a cheap slash bad knockoff apparently. So I checked out Yip Studio's website and it seems Amy's smallest cakes kick off at $350, going all the way up to $775 for the fanciest ones. Now, knowing the Kardashian-Jenner family's deep pockets, it's got folks scratching their heads as to why Kylie couldn't seem to budget for this expense for her event. Amy also confirms, they're asking me to take this down, but I didn't sign any NDA. 
Amy clearly stated that since no legal papers bind her to keep mute about the conversation with the team, she had no worries about sharing what happened with the world. But why was Kylie's team actually mad about Amy's post? And why did they try so hard to get her to take it down? At this point, the Kardashian-Jenner family is used to people dragging them online. While their default response to internet rumors is to keep mum until the breeze blows over, Kylie and her team were obviously determined to get Amy to take down her posts. And they probably have a valid reason for this. You see, to get Amy's consultation about the type of cake they wanted, they had to share confidential company information, like the design of Kylie's long-awaited perfume, Cosmic. During Amy's Instagram posting crusade, she might have accidentally leaked the final design of the perfume bottle. In this post, Amy said she had to make this whole deck because apparently they couldn't imagine a pink cake based on the images I sent them of pink cakes. Kylie's unreleased cosmic bottle is clearly visible. However, it seems the small business owner simply made a mistake as she soon took down the pictures, even though she could have left them on her page. Perhaps she thought since everyone had seen them already, there wasn't much point in leaving the posts up on the internet while getting harassed by Kylie's team on the daily. One Reddit user wrote that, for all the elaborate parties and events they throw, you'd think they could spend some money on a cake, but I guess they're still too cheap. Lumping all of the Kardashian-Jenner sisters together as a stingy bunch. After the climax of the whole Jenner cake drama started to fall, Amy took to social media to talk about the situation one final time. She said, It's wild that I've had over a thousand responses and almost 25,000 people viewing the story. I've read through some of them, and many others have had similar experiences in all different creative industries. I've since taken down a few of the images after receiving a message from Kylie herself. At this point, enough people have seen it. I don't feel bad anymore. I guess I didn't want to seem petty or difficult to work with by telling my story. In fact, I was agreeable the entire time, to the point that I felt ashamed at how naively I invested my time. And lesson learned, no more free pitches. Get that deposit or consultation fee. I'm no longer just a little Kiwi girl in NYC trying to hustle with a side gig making cakes so I don't have to work a mind-numbing corporate job, tethered to it with a visa. I actually have a pretty successful full-time business and some lovely and interesting fans and clients. Thank you everyone for your continued support on this little journey of mine. Luckily for Kylie, it seems the launch of her new perfume Cosmic is very much still underway with almost every influencer who got an early access to the product, giving it a good old thumbs up. But fans are still split on this one, with one group calling the Kardashians cheap, and the other saying that Amy should have handled the situation better. The second group claims that the artist was simply carried away by the thought of working for a big celebrity, and she failed to ask for the consultation fee before drawing up samples. So what do you guys think? Who do you think is really at fault? Be sure to hit up the comments to let us know how you feel about Kylie's confectionery drama. We'll see you on the next one.